Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I am here today to solve one of the biggest kitchen mysteries that I've had and faced, and that is making juicy chicken breasts. Um, I have some chicken already started here. I have one breast left that is still super thick, so I'm going to put it in the clothes and cut and use a long, I like to use my serrated bread knife um, to just cut through that horizontally. So I started doing this rather than um, using the meat tenderizer to flatten them out. I felt like it kind of saved the integrity of the chicken a little bit better. I'm gonna turn on my grill pan to a medium high temperature and I'm using my cast iron today and that one heats up super fast. So um, I waited just a little bit to turn it on. Putting a little bit of oil up in the top here of my oil dispenser so that I can then brush that on to each side of the chicken. But before I flip this over, I'm going to add my seasoning salt. And that is just the basic Pampered Chef seasoning salt. I love this on chicken and on potatoes. Oh, and I haven't opened this one, shoot. I knew I was all out, so I went and got a new one and forgot to open it. So there we go. Okay, that's ready to go. We'll sprinkle that on pretty liberally. Now, I've cooked chicken a lot of times in my grill pan and it comes out pretty darn good, but it always seemed to dry out a little bit more than I wanted to. And only recently did I start using the grill pan in combination with the oven. So I'm going to cook one side about three to five minutes and then flip it to the other side. But when I do that, I'm going to put it in my preheated oven, which is preheated to 400 degrees. Um, and it will bake in the oven then anywhere from five to 12 minutes. And I know that's a big range, but um, depending on how thick the chicken breast is, that will determine how long you wanna keep it in the oven. So to make that easier, get one more tool. We of course need the digital thermometer. This is my most used digital thermometer that, or thermometer that I've ever had. Turning it on right now, it is 75 degrees in my kitchen. That's how quickly it will tell you the temperature um, where you're at. So um, let me turn you around. I'll show you this pan here. Okay, so I have my cast iron grill pan ready to go. We'll just lay these down in here. By the way, Mel Hopkins, this is for you. Because we were having this discussion on cooking chicken and getting it to be nice and tender. So we're filling that pan. Like I said, I'm going to cook this three to five minutes on the one side, probably closer to five since it's you really should leave some space in between the, the chicken um, so that you don't get that moisture cooking out of it and, and that actually we want the moisture to seal in when it sears. So that's it for today. Have a great day, everybody. Let me know if you have any secrets or favorite ways to cook your chicken breast.